Well, after having the Jeep run so good for the past few months, uh, coming back from the grocery store, we had a check engine light come on. So now I'm going to go into the garage, grab my scanner for my BMW, and we're going to go check it out. P0122, low circuit. Huh, I've never seen those ones come up before. Alright, for that code, the first thing we're going to check is the throttle body itself, and it looks clean. Doesn't look like there's any kind of dirt. I just removed the sensor off of it now, right down there. And, um, I was actually going to, um, swap it out with this other one I had from the old engine, but, uh, unfortunately I can't because, um, they changed the sensors between 2002 and 2003, so it kind of scraps that plan. All right, when you want to remove the sensor, you push that clip down, but you got to pull the red out like that. Push the clip down, pull it out, and of course, put it back on in reverse. Push it in, push the red clip in, locked in place. So I removed the throttle body and you just removed two Torx 20 screws and there's some dirt in there and uh, we're just going to spray that out because dirt has been known, especially after going 4x4 and if you got your engine completely soaked, which you usually do, uh, a lot of people have problems with their throttle position sensors because they leak and they get all dirty and crap, so that's a possibility as well. It is very possible that the sensor's going, so uh, most likely I'm going to have to end up going out to the store and buying a new one, but for right now we're just gonna clean it, troubleshoot it. If it comes back, we're gonna change it. So I'm gonna put this video on hold for a while till we discover what exactly the issue is. So what I did now, since uh, the throttle body that I took out, a throttle position sensor I should say, had no gasket on it. I took the old one and I robbed the gasket from it and uh, put it in place. So now we're gonna put that back in and see how she's gonna go. Yeah, I just used some throttle body cleaner, cleaned out the sensor, um, sprayed out inside of there as well. Best part about owning a Jeep is being able to flip up the hood and give you unlimited access to the motor. So this is important when you go to put it in. See how it's springing? You gotta make sure that the throttle position sensor has some spring in it. And that's how you install it correctly. So right now, no powertrain data, so let's have a look down. Uh, little position, percentage, 12.5%. I don't think it's going to... Um, Give us voltage per se, but we're gonna go down. I guess that's all live data we're gonna get. So at this point going forward, the scanner's not detecting any codes that are being present or any codes that are going to be present. So that's not saying the problem is fixed. That's only saying that the problem is not happening at the moment. I'm going to suspect I'm gonna have to change that sensor out. I'm gonna give it two to three weeks at the max and then finish this video off. So it's been over a week since I had that code. Troubleshot it, and I, basically all we did was clean it up, but that didn't really fix the problem. Like, I don't have a code showing now why the code was showing. I'm not exactly sure. Right now, it's not giving me any issues. It hasn't. Like, it, right, it drives fine. It runs fine. Uh, it doesn't run rough or anything else. So why it was triggered, I'm not exactly sure. If it happens again, I'm going to just change the throttle position sensor out. As far as the um, evaporator small leak code went, I just fueled up the day before and I stuffed in as much gas as I possibly can, or could I should say. Don't think I had my gas cap on right, that would cause it. Otherwise, other issues, if you have a charcoal canister in your Jeep to help uh, filter out the fumes, that would do it as well if it's leaking. Like if you were go start your vehicle in the morning and you smell gas, that, like if that charcoal canister is leaking, that'd be enough to throw that code. Otherwise, I know in my Beamer, if I don't have the gas cap put on right, or if I overfill it, that code will come on. So. 
food for thought. Uh, none of those coats have appeared back yet, so I'm gonna leave the video at that for now. If, if there's any updates, I'll post them. So um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.